वेलकम स्टूडेंट टुडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन सम न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ क्लास 9 चैप्टर 2 फोर्स एंड लॉज ऑफ मोशंस माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन द चैप्टर्स बट आई थिंक विदाउट द न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम्स अनटिल अनलेस इफ आई एक्सपायर इफ आई डोंट एक्सप्लेन देन योर कंसेप्शंस विल नॉट क्लियर सो दैट्स व्हाई टुडे आई हैव ऑलरेडी रिटन पेपर एंड Uh, due to short of time, there are some numericals problem. Today, one by one, I am going to explain to all of you. First one, see the two balls A and B. Uh, this uh, better to say uh, one more video I will uh, prepare that uh, this uh, numericals problems based on uh, Newton's second law. Okay. Now, and another video I will uh, make for prepare that will the numericals problem based on Newton's third law. So. Based on Newton's second law, uh, that uh, this numerators are on, two balls A and B have masses m and 2m and velocities v and 2v, respectively. What is the ratio of momentum of A that of B? Okay. Now, what we know about the momentum from <coughs> Newton's third law, we know that. Uh, uh, momentum p equals to m into v momentum okay momentum p equals to m by m into v where m is the mass v is the velocity of a moving object clear now let me start number 1 number 1 okay now let the mass of uh, of a of ball a equals to m a and velocity equals to v a okay therefore momentum momentum i think you can watch nicely momentum p a equals to what i write ma into v a ma into v a okay ma into v is the momentum of the ball a clear now and the mass of ball b and b is m b and velocity equals to v b okay therefore momentum momentum p b equals to what m b into v b there is no confusion because we know momentum is equal to uh, ma into v m m into v mass into velocity so there are now the ratio a to b there are now the ratio of ratio of momentum of a ratio of momentum momentum of a that of b equals to what p a by p b clear or p a p b means i can write m a v a by m b v b clear now what is m a that is they told m a equals to m or m And V A equals to V small V the M B okay now M B equals to what two M two so M into V B equals to two V I can write okay or M B by four M V M V A B cancel then one by four so now. 
therefore momentum m sorry pa is to pb equals to 1 is to 4 this is the answer okay so in this way we can solve that momentum of pa that of b equals to pa is to pb equals to 1 is to 4 okay now perhaps you can copy this one uh, from the board in your uh, uh, plus one copy now next one let me explain next one see what will be the accelerations of a body of mass a 5 kg if a force 12 200 newton is applied now what we know about the newton's uh, second law that f equals to m now we know f equals to m a where a is accelerations m is the mass of the moving uh, object and f is the applied force but what is the uh, newton's third law the rate of change of momentum or rate of change of momentum of a moving object is directly proportional to the applied force okay so based on this formula we will uh, solve the our next problem now what what will be the accelerations of a body of mass number two here mass of the body mass of the body uh, m equals to what 5 kg accelerations so for accelerations of the body sorry acceleration of the body a equals to unknown okay unknown that's a question mark and force force applied on the body body f equals to what 200 newton 200 newton now before solving the problem uh, please keep in mind that all the uh, unit should be in the si unit means the mass will be in kg and uh, force will be in newton and the accelerations will come meter per second square if there is any change suppose mass given in gram or uh, force given in dime so then you have to convert this one to the si unit otherwise your uh, answer will come uh, wrong so now therefore we know we uh, sorry we know according to newton's second law laws of motion f equals to m a f how much will i uh, write 200 200 or first you can do like that also or a equals to f by m m will come down or f equals to how much i put 200 200 and and uh, a equals to how much i put 5 that means 5 for some 20 5 for some 20 meter. now 40 meter per second square okay so what will be the accelerations 40 meter then accelerations answer accelerations equals to Short form accelerations A equals to 40 
meter per second square. Okay. Now, how to do as per Newton's third law, uh, second law? That we know F equals to ma. Okay. Then F equals to ma. Then A, uh, we have to find out the A, the accelerations. And uh, force already given, F must given. Then we just put the data and we find out the accelerations due to applied force uh, 200 uh, of the moving object. Okay. Now, again, you copy this one in your class of copy. Now, I am writing the third one. Third one, a net force of 10 Newton produces an acceleration of 2 meter per second square in a body of moving over a horizontal surface. What is the mass of the body? Now, here, what I have to take out the mass. Before previous examples, we have, we have taken out uh, the accelerations. Now we have to take out the mass of the body. Now number three. Here, mass of the body m equals to how much given? Uh, mass of the body, we don't know. Question mark. Accelerations. So before that, you don't write mass. You write uh, here force on the body on the body F equals to 10 Newton acceleration acceleration of the body A equals to what? 2 meter per second square 2 meter per second square Therefore, mass of the body we will get from Newton's second law of motion equals to a m equals to f by a okay or f equals to m a in bracket you write f equals to m a so m equals to f by a now you just put the data m equals to f means 10 and the a means 2 so this is 5 kg okay then answer you write the mass of the body equals to 5 kg. Clear? So, in this way you just have to apply the, there is no any difficulty, you just put the formula, apply, put the data and you get the answer. But before that, you have to see whether the units are all having an SI unit or not. If there is no SI unit, you have to cut. You just copy and now let me do the fourth one. Now, fourth one, already I have it. Calculate the momentum of a ball, toy car weighing 200 grams and moving with a velocity 5 meter per second. Now, here, here see, moment, moment, uh, car, toy cars weighing 200 grams. So, this 200 grams, the, the data is not given in SI unit. So in SI unit, we have to change into kg, convert the mass uh, gram into kg that we can apply the formula. Now, mass, so mass of the toy car m equals to 200 gram. So one, uh, one kg means 1000 gram. So I have to divide this one by 1000 to make it kg, kg or 0, 0, 1, then 1 by 5 kg, okay, 1 by 5 kg. The velocity of the car V equals to what data? 5 meter per second okay so uh, that one uh, mass i have got velocity i have got we know what momentum is product of mass and velocity therefore momentum of 
the toy car equals to m into v or m is how much I put 1 by 5 and uh, uh, v 5 equals to what 5 5 1 then 1 meter per uh, sorry this uh, see this one mass unit is kg and velocity is meter per second so what will be the uh, answer equals to 1 kg meter per second this is the unit of uh, momentum because n is a um, uh, unit of mass is kg and velocity meter per second so answer you write momentum momentum plus to 1 kg meter per second clear so in this way you can easily solve the um, numerical problems many numerical problems you will get in your book please go through and see what are the data are there and if the data are not in the SI unit you have to change the SI unit into, uh, change the data unit into SI unit after that you just put the data in a particular uh, form after that particular formula then you will get easily the answer of there and you can solve the numerical problems okay thank you